what it do, what it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQKC Boston Network. And I am working. Now, of course, we are talking about none other than Tim Zhu versus Tony Harrison. That's right. The young man from Motown, Detroit, Michigan versus the Sydney Australian from the Down Under, Tim Zhu. Now, of course, we all know how this fight came about. We all know that Jamel Charlo uh, broke his hand and now Tony Harrison stepped in and Tim Zhu accepted a Tony Harrison, which he couldn't believe that he did. Tim Zhu is 21 and 0 with 15 KOs. And he elected to fight the veteran Tony Harrison. A highly skilled, crafty fighter. Now keep in mind, Tim was scheduled to fight Jamel Charlo back in January. Which, as I mentioned, he broke his hand during training. Now, Harrison is 29 and 3 with 21 KOs. Now, one of the wins of the 29 that he won was over Jamel Charlo, who I may add is the undisputed champion at 154. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No doubt about it. Tim Zhu has a hill to climb. But as you know, my family this is a sweet science and anything can happen in a sweet science we all remember at least some of us Buster Douglas Mike Tyson the unexpected can always happen now tonight we will see hopefully a different Tony Harrison sure he did not look good in some of his fights. He has ran out of gas many, many, many times. But now, he said he's improved. His mental state is 100%. Keep in mind that his father did pass. Father, trainer, manager, slash friend. We know how them father and son team work. Some work great, and some don't. Now, Tim Zhu, he wants to prove tonight. He want to prove that I am my own man. I'm making my own bones. I'm trying to get out of my father's shadow. Castor Zhu is his father, and Tim Zhu is his son, who pretty much is known for royalty over there in Australia. They think highly of the zoos. But let old KQ tell you what he really, really think. Now you had a little backstory on this shit. One thing I can tell you this. Tony Harrison is a skilled fighter. We will see that tonight. Tony Harrison is very rangy. Tony Harrison has a great ring IQ. He is a veteran. He's more experienced. He's not only a great fighter, he's a great trainer too. He trained the champion, the undisputed champion, Alicia Braungardner, who is showing her her support over there with him. And yes, he has been the only one to beat Jamel Acharlo. Now, of course, we all know that this fight is going to take place on Showtime. Now, I will be live today at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time. We're going to discuss this today. We're going to discuss the do's and don'ts of Tony Harrison and Tim Zhu. 
Don't forget, Tony Hansen is a great fighter. No doubt about it. He can put that stick in your face and keep you at bay. Now, it's not only a jab. It's a hard jab. It's one of them jabs when you throw two or three, your nose is busted. Because he's sticking and he's sticking hard. Same with body shots. He knows how to go around to the liver. The left or right. Take your choice. He will stand there and fight. You won't see a lot of movement. I'm from Harrison. He might step back and do a little little one-two step. Then he stop and fire. Tim Zhu. He comes straight ahead. But he will stand there and try to outwork you. But one thing about Tim Zhu, he had tasted the canvas. But he got up and showed determination. And he went in there and won. Now, I'm sorry people, but let's keep it honest. Tim Zhu had showed courage. He picked one of the best fighters. I mean, one of the best fighters at 154. Now, let's use our common sense here. I'm quite sure he saw the film on Tony Harrison. He wanted to challenge himself. And may I add, Ryan Garcia, he wants to challenge himself by accepting all the terms. We'll talk about that too. But see, it's funny. All these great fighters, all these great fighters want to challenge themselves. They want to be the best they can be. But I'm sorry, I have to say this. Why has Terrence Crawford not want to be the best? How come he's still fighting mediocre fighters? Why are he fighting the best? Why he not accepting fighting the best? Now, yes, Earl Spence is the best at the welterweight division, no doubt about it. And I'm quite sure he would do well at 154. But not only now, in the past, why did Terrence Crawford take the soft road? We're talking about the Hank Lundies. We are talking about the Jeff Horns and so on and so on. But it's not about Terrence Crawford, people. It's about what we're going to see tonight. Yes, your boy, right here, the singing OG. The Don of Calling, play by play. I will be on the call tonight. Now, keep in mind, this will be a late fight tonight. So make sure you have your drinks ready and your popcorn ready. KQ, KC, going to amp it up a little bit tonight. We're going to amp it up a little bit next week. Tim Zhu is coming to prove something tonight. Tim Zhu is coming to show everybody in the USA that we know how to fight in Australia. Jeff Horn wasn't nothing. Jeff Horn was a, a Rudy Pooh. In the words of my man, everything, a boxer. So no doubt about it, Tim Zhu has something to prove. Tony Harrison has something to prove. See, Tony Harrison, he wants another opportunity with Jamel Charlo. Tony Harrison said, and I quote in unquote, baby, the only fight I want, the only fight I want is with Jamel Charlo. That's the only fight that's significant unto me. That's my rival. After he knocked me out in a rematch over three years ago, I've been chasing and pursuing him ever since. And I'm a halfway there. I had to go halfway around the world to get there. If that is what I have to do, so be it. Coming from Sydney, Australia tonight.
We got Tim Zhu versus none other than the Motown man himself. My neighbor in the Midwest. We are talking about Tony Harrison. Torrance Harrison has got out of that what we call so-called funk. That depression of the death of his family member, of his father, and another family member also. So, let's get it popping tonight. Let's get it cracking tonight. Show your boys some love. One thing about KQKC. It doesn't matter if it's free or it's pay-per-view. I'm going to call it for you all. For the ones that's in their cars driving. For the truck drivers that's hauling. For people that have to work the night shift. I'm your man. I'm going to keep you entertained. Play by play and blow by blow. This is a fight, people, that you don't want to miss. This is a fight that's underrated. This fight means something. This means what? It's possibly to be a trilogy with Charlo and Harrison. Or, or his mandatory, Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu might shock the world tonight. Because if he can beat Tony Harrison, that means that he definitely got a chance. The odds will be in his favor when he fight Jamel Charlo. Now, I don't know it would be in his favor, but they definitely would go up. Because he beat the man that beat the man. If you know what I mean. I'm KQ. KC Boxing Network. If you haven't subscribed, Make sure you subscribe right now. Hit the bell icon. If you want to just subscribe to hear me call fights, I'm good with that. If you want to hear my live stream Monday through Friday, 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time, I'm good with that. If you just want to hear me and Knockout Boxing 86 TV, the morning after show, and that's Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be going over all the fights, play by play. We'll be going over all the news, the latest and the greatest news of boxing. I'm okay with that. But one thing I can tell you, if you haven't subscribed, I am 20 away from 6,000 subscribers. Now, I don't trip on subscribers. You know, I don't. Because KQ does his thing seven days a week. My longest streak was 25 days in a row. Seven days a week. So, and I'm just 56 years old. That's all. I'm doing what no other younger fight uh, uh, content creator is doing. Now, with that, I will see you tonight. I will see you tonight. But before we do that, I will be live today at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I want to get your juices flowing first. I want to talk about other boxing news. I want to talk about other fights that have been made or not made. I want to talk about the purse bids that's going on. I want to talk about everything in the sport of boxing. Join me today. Join me this morning. And then join me tonight. I told you, I'm the hardest working man in OG on YouTube. So join me this morning, y'all. I see you all at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. Right here on KQKC Boxing Network. And we are working. Shout out to all my family members. Shout out to all my channel members. I have a hell of a chat. I'm sorry, I have to say that. No slight on no other chats. No slight on no other content creators. We, we keep it troll free. We keep it grown up. We all agree to disagree that's one thing about it I don't spend no time 
sitting there arguing with someone else. Because that's what grown folks do. I'm not going to holler at my chat. That's what grown folks do. So with that, shout out to all my family members. Shout out to Black Media's Row. And shout out to everyone that subscribed to KQKC. And with that, man, with that, man, oh man, your boy is out of here. Peace and love.